Hi, friends. Ingwe sent me another bicycle. You know, a couple of months ago, I reviewed the X24 and really liked the quality of the bike company. Ingwe. Explore a new way. Ingwe. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got the blue one. Actually, it's called Sea Green. They come in three colors, onyx black, sea green, and rose pink. This one is lighter than the X24 that I reviewed before, which is a very powerful bike. And it's also a step-through model, which when I was a kid, they called a girl's bike. But I'm long since caring about what they call it. I'm going to like the ease of stepping through it. Anyway, I'm going to get this out of the box and put it together and go for a ride. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I just use a box knife to cut the corners, and what it gives me is a very nice, clean place for the for the assembly. And like I said in the last video for an Ingwe bike, impressed with how well it's packed. Well packaged indeed. Here's a tip, get you a pair of wire cutters, dikes. Kickstand first, fork last. Keeps it from tipping over. Ah, UPS, what are you bringing me today? And of course you get a full set of tools, every wrench, screwdriver, and Allen wrench you need for assembly. Here we go. Nice looking bike. Few things I've noticed already. Metal fenders. The key is in a convenient position. Right here, uh, attachments for a water bottle. Shocks are adjustable and they're labeled so that you can tell what's softer or uh, stiffer. The suspension back here, and you can see it actually flexes. A very substantial guard for the derailleur. A very well positioned and substantial kickstand. Rear tail light, brake light. The direction said to mount the headlight up there on the rack. Watch what happens when you turn the wheel. The headlight doesn't follow where you're going. Simple fix, however. There's another attachment point right here. And the pedals, they are so easy to fold when you fold up the bike. I've had some others where you had to bang on them to get them to work. Easy peasy. Now these are not four inch tires, they're three inch tires. And people are coming around to the idea that uh, three inch tires instead of four inch tires still give you plenty of cushion for the ride, but less mass, more battery life, better climbing the hills, less mass when you're braking, less weight overall on the bike with two three inch tires instead of the fat four inch tires. They're still fat, but um, I actually prefer the way it corners in gravel. Here's a little behind the scenes look as I'm getting ready to go and do the shot for climbing the hill. You can see I have my camera tripod hooked on the back rack and that rack will hold 25 kilos, which is 55 pounds. The front rack will hold eight kilos, which is about 18 pounds. And speaking of the front rack, it's included in the base price of the Ingwe bike here, but here's a screenshot from another very popular and very good bike. 
that rack is a $49 option. And while we're talking about expensive options, here's another one, $129 on sale for $99. Engway on the L20 2.0 includes it in the base price. Ingway L20 upgraded model 2.0, 28 miles per hour pedaling, 20 miles an hour without pedaling. It's a hill climber. Pedaling! I'm on power level one of five. No pedaling. This thing will climb a hill. 52 volt, 75 newton meters. Yeah! Want to see some power? Woo oh wow, that's a very neat bike. I have an electric bike. Yeah. And the battery on yours is so much easier to take out. Well, will you see this? Wow, that's convenient. <laughs> Makes it so much easier. Yep. It's Pretty a great easy. design. Plus you can take it out when you're folding it up. And it, I weighed the battery, it's 10 pounds. So that's 10 pounds left. You, you Less you gotta lift in and out of the car if you're gonna haul it. Whoa, yeah, it stops. So your first time riding it, right? Are the controls all the same as your bike? They are pretty much the same, yes. Yeah? All the controls are in the same spot. Yeah? And uh, the seat is very comfortable. In fact, the same thing is more comfortable. I like the spring loaded seat. Yeah. So that when you go over the bumps, yeah. that's such a harsh ride. You have shocks in the front, right? I have what? You have shocks in the front. Yes. Yeah. Do you, do you want to try the bell? <laughs> Go ahead and ride. Wow, this must be high up. <laughs> that works. It's a comfortable ride with the shocks, the soft seat, the spring under there. My butt likes it. They challenged me to do a wheelie. What do you think? Well, you can't have that one. <laughs> Comfortable grips on the handlebars. Over here on the other side, this is the throttle. Seven speed Shimano gears. Nice bright display. Uh, it's reflecting my face in there. Trust me, it's very readable in the sunlight. The dinghy bell, of course. Um, all the standard stuff. Uh, on, plus, minus power, light switch. Kind of like the enter button when you're programming it. And the parameters are all programmable with different button touches. 
All in all, it works. Windy day here today. Never mind the hair. Uh, this bike is light. I can pick it up easily. Let's fold it up. First, the pedals. Unclick this thing down here. Sits there nicely. Unclick this one. Put it in the car. Go for a ride. That took a minute and 18 seconds, including complaining about the wind in my hair. Here on the ranch, we call this a road, but I guess if you live in the city, you might think this was off-roading. It's kind of gravelly here and bumpy. The three-inch tires are handling the gravel very well. Let's go see if we can find some real off-roading. Well, it's very bumpy here, and I have a camera mounted on a head strap. This still isn't uh, off-roading to me. This is a uh, new road. We're building a greenhouse back here. Just got the foundation poured. Let's take a right turn here. Yeah, now we're in the rattlesnake country. This is really off-road. And it's bumpy. But the ride is good. We nimbly go around this tree, and the brakes work. <laughs> I've been riding this bicycle back and forth from the motorhome in the house up here to where we're building that greenhouse all week. And the more I ride it, the more I like it. I'm not sure how to explain the power of 75 newton meters and a 52 volt system in a bike that weighs 68 pounds. This other Ingway bike that I reviewed is a 98 pound beast of a bike, fast, powerful, 48 volt motor and a 70 newton meter torque. If this is a muscle car, then this is a sports car. Same hub motor, souped up with a 52 volt system giving you more power 75 newton meters of torque and a 20 inch wheel versus a 24 or a 26 also increases the power that the motor can deliver the top speed is 28 miles an hour if you assist the motor with pedaling if you don't pedal at all 20 miles an hour and the range is 28 miles if you don't pedal at all and 84 miles with pedal assist and I'm not sure I believe that, but I do believe that if you run out of battery power and have to pedal at home, it's easy to pedal and you can go until you fall off the bike. Final thoughts? Well, I've ridden a lot of different things. This one is a keeper.
I had to take the seat out, which was easy, to get it past this. After that, fits fine. Uh, Ingway has a big sale going on this month. Check below for discount codes and links to details. I'm on my way to a bike path a few miles from here. Let's go. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.